For felting a collar, I used laster lamb fleece. Separated curls from wool and divided them to long and short. I used 50 grams of long unwashed fleece from 12 to 15 centimeters long and 50 grams of short unwashed fleece from 7 to 8 centimeters long. I bought a plastic mesh in a hardware store. The mesh is rather stiff. The size of its holes is about 5 mm. Mesh size is 1 m per 50 cm. I covered its edges with plastic bath curtain so that there is no scratching edge. I also use a mosquito net. And olive soap from Marseille. This is the best soap for felting, but laundry soap is good too. I prefelted the sample to see the shrinkage rate and how the curls behave during felting. I marked the shape and size of the collar with thin tape and glued it to the neck. Its length is 90 cm. Wide than the widest place is 12 cm. And closer to the narrow edge is 7 cm. I also used 5 grams of undyed 19 micron merino wool from the Walkmill factory of natural grey color. I stuck each curl with a thin end into the hole, starting from left to right, from top to bottom, at the distance of two cells. In the sample, I did a distance of three free cells, which is also a good option, but for the color, I took thinner curls. I put two rows of long strings along the outer edge of the color. I changed the curl's position in the second row so they are not parallel or above each other. The upper part of the curls protrudes for 3 cm. After I put a sufficient number of curls, I will slightly rub these fluffy ends to connect them together.
When the two outer rows are laid out, fill the mesh with short curls. Each row was filled in a checkboard pattern, so that curls are not parallel to each other. Then I laid out all the curls. I rubbed the upper tips with my hands to connect them a little. I made soapy solution with olive soap and moistened the upper ends of the fleece. Try not to pour a lot of liquid so that it does not reach the very tips of the curls. Try to keep the curls dry. Wet it well through the mesh. And lay out clouds of merino wool. I did not strive to make an even edge, so I simply laid it out along the edge. Wet the wool through the net, adding soap to get a thick foam, as unwashed fleece needs more soap than ordinary wool. Make the edge look a bit smoother like this. Then start felting through the knot. Start with light movements with the tips of your fingers. Alternate the direction of the movement to create foam. Foam helps the fibers adhere. When the wool has already begun to felt, I do the same movements but without the mesh, alternating rubbing with my fingers and with my palms. Since the mesh is textured, everything felts pretty quickly. When fleece is felted to wool, I pull curls out of the holes, carefully hauling it. Try to felt it to such a state that it is very difficult to tear the curls off.
Rub the wrong side of the color against the mesh a little. I put the color into hot water with vinegar to neutralize used soap. Do not stir too much, as not to tangle the curls. Then rinse the color in fresh water. To remove the smell of vinegar and make the curls silky, I rinse the color in water with hair conditioner Pantene Pro-V. After that, I rinse the color in water. Remove the excess moisture by wrapping it in a towel and leave to dry. Using this method of felting, I got a shrinkage rate of 1.1 for the collar and 1.3 for the sample. The collar turned out to be light, airy, and the curls did not get tangled and acquired a beautiful shine after washing.